who are also fellow youtubers fellow women fellow black women like serious you don't watch people but you have a lot to say about them this year i've just been giving myself like a really hard time hey guys welcome back to my channel this is actually me sitting in front of the camera for the first time especially for youtube i've been creating content for instagram but not for youtube because youtube requires a lot from you since uh, the xenophobic attacks and what happened to ui nene i haven't been able to sit in front of the camera i just haven't been myself often many a times when i'm like that i never want to sit in front of the camera and speak because it's not me and I do not want to create content that's not me and that's not coming from my heart so yeah because I feel like myself again I am sitting here guys and I just wanted to try out like new products new stuff that I haven't tried that I've been receiving in my PR and yeah and just talk about general random stuff why I've been away and why I chose to come back so first off i'm gonna start doing my brows with my alme no i grabbed the wrong product I'm, I'm gonna be doing my brows with the alme eyeliner crayon contour which is this one and i'm just gonna fill in my brows with that so yesterday yesterday was a lot a lot was going on on twitter uh, which i find to be a very toxic platform the story is that there are actually girls that went who are also fellow youtubers fellow women fellow black women who are trying to enter the industry and possibly create a brand for themselves created a video about beauty influencers mostly beauty influencers in fact beauty influencers so these girls decided to rate beauty influencers according to their consistency the quality and type of content that they create and put out also personality etc and other things i actually didn't get to watch the video all of it i just watched the beginning part of it because i am someone who doesn't like to entertain negativity in my life which is why you barely see me say things on twitter because it's it's not my kind of scene like i hate negative energy so they went on and we're criticizing like youtubers which apparently they don't really watch but have a lot to say uh about which i find quite like serious you don't watch people but you have a lot to say about them they criticize a lot of people and things got really personal like i am all for constructive criticism you know but if someone is gonna start bashing someone that they don't know they don't watch and give out opinions on people that they don't watch that's just that's just shade for me like at least watch the person and then you give out constructive constructive criticism based on what you have observed about the person so if you don't watch them what do you have to say about them secondly on twitter people were coming for them saying that um they they are not like uh americans which is true because our demographic is totally different youtubers that are in africa generally we are creating content that is relatable to our audience and our demographic which is africans the way africans and americans behave is like totally different their community and their demographic is very different so if you're a new youtuber coming into this youtube space and as small as the south african youtube community is and you already have this attitude do you possibly think like you're gonna make it my answer is no like you can never compare yourself with jackie aina and say if jackie aina can say this about other youtubers in america why can i like come on come off your high horse we are in africa this is not uh america so i just found it to be very weird and i found it to be very tasteful and it was coming from a really dark place of malice and guys if you want to say stuff about other people that are in the same industry because this industry is very small the youtube space is very tiny and also companies are like core joined and people speak about these things behind doors just be nice like be kind like i i i'm not like a guru but 
I've had to work with the same people over and over again. And if you want to enter this industry, sis, you gotta humble yourself. Like, just mind your own, you know? And if you wanna flourish, just be humble. That's it, that's all I have to say. But anyway, that's not my story today. <laughs> I gotta mind my own too. My story today is I just want to tell you guys why I've been away. I've, I've been feeling so, 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 so terrible. I just haven't been feeling myself, guys. Like, I'm, I, I, I'd like to think I'm the very most positive person, but. To shape my brows, I'm using this concealer, the LA Girl One. It's not new on this channel. This is the shade Espresso, and I'm just gonna take that and shape my brows. So I've just been feeling depressed lately, and I've realized that the one thing that was actually making me depressed was the fact that I kind of stopped leaving, and I've made my life about working. Like I just work. That's what I do. I stopped leaving so it has actually made me so depressed like you know i like to work but also i like to play but i like to work more and i sort of become anxious when i'm not working but then again i've realized the past week weeks that when i work more i I sort of start to crash and that's me failing to find like a balance like i don't have time to play you know so that is why you saw guys i decided also to take a break and just go to cape town and i've also re realized that as much as i was working and working and working i had sort of like lost passion in whatever that i was doing and for me it is sort of uh, it became like mechanical like i'm just doing what i have to do because i have to do it so for my eyes i'm gonna use this essence good day sydney eyeshadow palette so one thing also that's been making me like really demotivated is the fact that i sort of find that some of my clients take advantage of my services you know most of my clients are clients that have seen me on youtube or people that i've done makeup on before or people that see my hair tutorials and when they come to me they expect me to fix their hair on top of their makeup but i'm not a hair person i don't know how to do hair on other people i know how to do it on myself but i can't do it on other people so when i get there and their hair is not in in a in good form they expect me to fix it and fix it for for free you know like in most cases people are forgetting that this is my work this is my job this is my bread and butter this is how i i get my money and the other things i even said this on my stories was that one incident that i had was one lady had her makeup done elsewhere and when she came it was not like in a good state you know and she expected me to fix it and fix it for free using my product using my time using my strength and i said no i used to do this before you know but then i realized no man what i get all the time is a thank you people don't pay me for this and this is my effort this is my skill you know so I said no and people literally she chased me out like a dog guys like she 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 cursed me and she told me to leave anyway my job was done you know so those are the things that have just been demotivating me and i always take 50 percent from my clients so that if ever they decide to cancel prior our appointment i don't refund and some people when you're done with your work they don't want to pay you you know and it's just been really really demotivating for me so much that as much as i love doing makeup and as much as they know that i love makeup i don't want to do it like i feel like I'm, I'm coming to to the verge of it that one day i'm just gonna wake up and i'm like i can't do this anymore but at the same time i don't quit that easily and i often feel like if i'm doing that i'm giving them power over me you know to make me quit white stuff that i used on my eyelid is actually from I've used it before i'll link it in the description box that's from their flash it's called a holy grail flash case i just like to use it i'm way still waiting for my ploys uh, makeup academy base eye base which i ordered like four weeks ago and still hasn't arrived yeah so if you are looking for an eye base you can just use like that white color from from the paint pot it works like a charm
And then to create a wing eye, I'm gonna use this Inglot um, gel liner, which is the best liner that was ever made. Like, it's pricey, but it's really worth it, you guys. I'm just gonna use that to create a wing eye. thing that has been demotivating me is like I feel like I have established myself as a beauty youtuber that's where my strength is I've said it before that's where I feel like I'm more prominent and now I feel like when I create YouTube videos specifically for beauty people don't watch them anymore and that just discourages me a little bit because I tend to ask myself like why do people not watch the makeup tutorials anymore are you guys not interested or has it become bland and boring like exactly what's going on you guys help me as well because i need to know oh you want to see something fresh something more exciting something more different because i feel like now youtube is all about spice and all about you know drama and I, i'm not that person like i like to have fun and make fun but i don't see myself as being like dramatic i am dramatic come on <laughs> who am i kidding but i mean like i don't want to be the negative girl or create content that doesn't help people because i feel like my purpose is to serve my purpose is to help someone else so if you guys don't watch my makeup tutorials if i get like a minimum of two thousand views three four thousand views it really really discourages me because then i tend to ask myself what am i doing wrong what can i do better and i'm not motivated to film you, you understand like people keep asking me to make like story time videos but i'm like guys <laughs> my life is not that interesting like i have only so much stories to tell you know before i start lying and i don't want to lie i want to tell like real stuff real things that have actually really happened to me so if you guys keep asking me for story time videos then i'm sitting here asking myself where the hell am i gonna get story times like do i need to go out there and cause some shit for me to get story times but then again that's out of my character so yeah also i actually help me guys what do you guys want to see from me because i want to create content that speaks to the masses and content that speaks to the people that watch me i'm using these lashes from tg gang from my bff guys <laughs> i'm so excited for her these are so dramatic they speak like they command attention i love these lashes they're called omg and they're the ones that i'm going to use for my look today they are so dramatic you guys and they're such good quality lashes real hair and i'm not just saying this because tandy is my friend i'm saying it because it's true To prime my face, I'm gonna use this Benefit Pore Professional. Professional. Professional, if that makes sense. Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of my huge pores that look like my nostrils. You know? I'm gonna just take that and I'm gonna put it right here where I feel like my pores are more prominent because I'm not trying to waste this stuff. This stuff is freaking expensive, you guys. It's gonna shake your bank account. I'm not even lying. But then you will love it and around my nose. That's just where I get oily. So that's the way I prime only. I don't need to prime the other parts of my face because what's the point? And then for foundation, I am using the new Revlon 
color stay foundation and you guys this is something that's very close to my heart they have extended their shades i'm always fighting for things like this i've said it before i said it in the candy collection like the shades were so depressing they needed to do better and guess what they came up with new better shades which are warm which are more friendly to us dark skin men and girls <laughs> like i want you guys to love your skin like i know when we were growing up people were always like looking down upon people that have got dark skin so i'm here to tell you guys you're so beautiful i'm not uh, putting down the others that are not of our same complexion but this is our time guys this is our time to appreciate our skin tone because it is actually very beautiful you know with no doubt it is very beautiful so now Revlon also came up with newer shades that do accommodate you know much richer skin tones so when i walk into discam and clicks or wherever for shiny and i say please match me to the correct shade of my foundation this is what i'm talking about like i do not want to see where the foundation starts and where it's gonna end my neck my jaw my cheek my forehead needs to look the same to contour my face i'm gonna use this l'oreal infallible stick long way shaping stick foundation that was long and unnecessary but i'm just gonna take that and shade my jaw and shade the other side as well just to sculpt my face and make it look appear and look smaller than it is and as well as here my jawline and also i'm just letting you know guys that i'm gonna be coming back with like holes again i literally have been shopping i've been shopping a lot and also other companies have sent me clothes like in the past weeks which i didn't really film because i never had time as well as i moved you guys i live in a much bigger space much better apartment than the one that i was living at before so it's just been a little bit hectic for me so yeah you guys need to expect like content of higher content i'm gonna be bringing it out like nobody's business i need to close this year with a bang because i've been feeling for my i've been feeling sorry for myself for too long now and i need to snap out of it so and now to set my face i'm using the laura messier powder which is like so freaking expensive i don't understand it and it's so freaking overrated you guys i don't know i i, I don't know because i've been using it and for the past two weeks and it's just another powder guys like i don't see what's the hype or i still need to keep using it and comparing it with my other powders for me to see the difference because i actually find the revlon powder to be better than this but i don't know but i just find it to be just another setting powder guys i got mine from where did i get it again i got it from cult beauty and i'm still gonna give you guys like the gist on cult beauty how to order how much you're gonna pay for customs and things like that etc but yeah that's where i got mine and ah uh, it's okay honestly and also these days like i said before i don't bake i just set my face just like that because baking is gonna make me look old i've got a super dry skin Ash, i'm going back into the same palette and i'm taking this orange and this slightly red color it's this orange and this slightly red color i'm mixing the two and i'm just going to put them on my cheeks like that so you know the whole thing about improvising you see no need to be buying separate palettes for blush you know for your powder to contour because you can use that palette that you have in your home to do that like save your coins don't be spending money on stuff you don't need to highlight my face i'm using this new catrice luminance highlight and bronze glow palette you guys if you're sleeping on catrice it's actually one of the best drugstore brands the only thing that i don't like about them is that they're sort of not inclusive when it comes to their foundations and powders and other stuff like bronzing stuff but like their lipsticks their glosses are 
like impeccable so this time i'm trying out this palette which is new and was sent to me i haven't tried and i'm quite excited to try this shade here because that's the darkest one and i feel like it's gonna do the damn things so that's the shade i'm gonna try uh focus man okay doesn't want to show what i'm doing but anyway let's swatch it on my face in actuality because what's the point of me putting it on my on my hand i i don't know why i like highlighters so much guys i barely have anything bad to say about them but yeah this one is very soft though you need to dip in your brush a couple of times like if you need that extra glow so yeah i'm just like massaging that into my skin it looks nice doesn't look ashy amen you know that is what i live for it looks very 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 nice i can i think that's too much <laughs> it's a lot i'm just gonna put a fake beauty spot here because i can you know Guys, the lawnmower is so back and it's making noise. I'm taking the same liner that I used for filling in my brows and I'm just sculpting my lips and making them look fuller and bigger. You know they are bigger. We want them to be bigger and better. I actually saw this trick from Jackie Aina. She also overlines her lips and it just looks nice. So that's what I'm doing as well. Like, thank you, Auntie Jackie, 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 Jackie. No, guys, but wait. Honestly, you need to get this pencil. Like, wow, I'm shook right now. I'm shook, 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 shook. Where's the lid? I just want to show it to you closer. It's called the Alme Eyeliner Crayon Contour Pencil. This one and it's a reclining pencil i don't know how much it costs i'm gonna find out and i'll put it in the description box but guys i think this is the best lip liner i've tried i don't know if it's for your lips or if it's for your brows or it's your eyeliner but i'm using it for my for my lips wow it's so good it's so creamy it's so rich it's so brown i love it really really love it and then for my lips as well i am going with sort of like a pinkish nudish color and this one is from catrice as well and this is a matte lipstick but right now my lips are so dry and cracking so i'm gonna put a gloss on top of it because i don't want to crack just a little bit of that to give it like dimension and definition and then i'm gonna go in with a gloss and this gloss is also from alme and it's called the goddess gloss my first time trying it as well and it's quite glittery and shiny and creamy i hope it doesn't stick because i don't like eyeshadow i don't like uh lip glosses that stick like that are sticky so that i'll make gloss was, is okay it's not as shiny as i want it to be so i took my catrice one which is the bomb.com <laughs> it's called the generation plump and shine gloss so i really like this one because it shines like nobody's business so i'm just topping that off Hey guys so this brings us to the end of the video and this is the look that i managed to create using some new products that i have recently received i know i did uh, go quite a little bit in terms of speaking about what was actually bothering me but i feel like ex i exhausted all the topics like in the beginning but i hope you guys actually like this makeup look i am stunning <laughs> i literally like stunting myself i love this look so much like really really so much and i hope you guys will be keen to recreate it if you do recreate it don't forget to tag me i love you guys for tuning in and to my video today and yes i didn't put setting spray because you know like <laughs> but 
<laughs> you have to put on your setting spray guys you have to but i'm not because i'm just going to wipe off this makeup look after i'm done with this video but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in let's bring the family to 40k subscribers we have like a few 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 subs to 40k i'm super excited because we are going to have a massive massive giveaway thank you guys so much for the support even in my absence and i love you so much bye